Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we have a new video to share with you all. We'll be testing out Primark's new Mickey Mouse cake pop maker in this video. So to begin, we have a vanilla cake recipe which we made up. And for this recipe, you will need 125 grams of self-raising flour, 125 grams of caster sugar, a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 125 grams of soft unsalted butter, two eggs, uh, one and a half tablespoons of whole milk and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. So first we started off by softening the butter with the sugar and mixing it together. In the end it started to look more fluffy and this is the kind of result that you want at this point. We then sifted in the dry ingredients such as the bicarbonate soda and flour and we mixed this in until it turned into a flaky consistency. We then added the eggs and mixed this all together. and then added the milk afterwards and the vanilla extract. Mix this until it turned into a cake batter consistency. So here is the cake pop maker as you can see. So this was £22 from Primark and 25 cake pop sticks are included inside. Within this video we did not use the cake pop stick. So on the back of the box they show what it looks like inside. This was our first time unboxing this product and we were quite shocked at how small this was. However, you are able to make four cake pops at one time. So you place the batter at the bottom of the machine and then you close the top in order to make the little cake pops. On the instructions which came with this box, it stated that you should apply some vegetable oil and let the machine sit for three to five minutes in order for the oil to get hot. So this is what I'm doing here. I would recommend for you to lightly scoop in some oil as it can get really bubbly otherwise. At first it was quite difficult to figure out how much batter would be correct for this mould, however in the end we figured out that one teaspoon for the main body and half a teaspoon for each ear worked out perfectly. As you can see here I did put too much batter in the first time, so in the end we figured out the right ratio. Altogether, with the batter that we made at the beginning, we were able to make round about 35 cake pops. So you can customise your cake pops however you would like to, however we decided that we would like to dip them in chocolate, so this is what we did here, and we did a mixture of white chocolate and milk chocolate, and then we decided that we wanted to sprinkle some more yellow and pink chocolate on top of it. So here we just placed the cake pops on top of some baking paper, and we just sprinkled the chocolate on with a little teaspoon. One piece of advice here is, as soon as you are finished with spreading the chocolate on top, we would recommend for you to place the cake pops onto a separate clean plate, as otherwise the chocolate gets stuck to the cake pops and the Mickey Mouse shapes kind of get distorted. 
So that's it for our video today guys, thank you so much for watching, if you like this type of video please give this video a big fat thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of the Primark kitchen appliances being tested on this channel please leave it in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching, see you real soon, bye!